This is Lucifera with you. Welcome to Go Virtual. Today's subject is Dangerous Spirits. This information is for uh, newcomers. There are spirits that are dangerous. And I think that it's my duty to inform you about this. Let's look first at the Guishia because Guishia is the uh, is a very popular book. The spirit you should stay away from is Andras. Here is his seal. He is not um, dangerous when you do the ritual with Andras, but the consequences of your magic could be so bad temper, I mean, that you could get so angry and uh, go into direct confrontation with your enemy and uh, even become violent and this could lead to uh, police arrest and bad records for you. So avoid working with Andras if you are dealing with your enemies. There are other spirits in the Guiashia, like Andramalius and Belial, who are capable to deal with your enemies without you going into fist fights with them. Then there's another spirit from the Grimorium Viarum and here is the Grimorium Viarum. The spirit is called Guland and here is his seal. I will try to zoom. No. Like this. This one is Guland. Guland. You should avoid this spirit because this spirit is capable of causing disease and illness. But I doubt that he can heal the illness. And um, if you decide to punish your enemies by asking Guland to punish them this with illness, there is a huge risk that the spell will backfire on you and then you yourself will become ill and go to the doctor and um, get treatment, antibiotics and medication and so on. You don't want that kind of suffering. So don't do magic with Guland. Uh, don't do such malicious magic with high risk. Then there's another spirit, Bukon, from the Grimorium Verum. Here is his seal. And in the Grimorium Verum, th there you see his seal, Bukon. There, here. This one, this. This spirit is good if you want to split a relationship between your girlfriend and her new boyfriend. Bukon has helped me in several cases when the third party needed to be eliminated out from a love relationship. But this spirit is a little bit tricky. Um, sometimes spells with Bukon produce wonderful results almost fist fights and then the couple splits but in some cases the spells failed instead the one who was ordering this malicious spell from me suffered a breakup with their other party who ran away with the new lover so this spirit is tricky but the fights are very rough almost fist fights like if you call upon Andras to split up a relationship, there will be malicious fights. So 
you can work with Bukon and also at the same time you can call Beliao. Both call upon both Beliao and Bukon during one and the same ritual if you feel that you have been treated badly and your boyfriend has ran off with a new woman then you can use this spell to split them and there will be fights but again there's approximately 20 percent chance that the spell might fail then there are two more spirits this is the planetary talisman of marsh uh, and this is the planetary talisman of sun these talismans are described in the book of um, Agrippa. It is a little bit more advanced magic, but I know that beginners jump into this magic. They want to try out. Uh, these spirits are not dangerous physically when you summon them, but the after effects could be dangerous. I have worked with the planetary talisman of Sun and this spirit, Sorat, is dangerous. I started to change internally into a very cruel woman and I noticed this during half a year while I was working with Sorat and then I realized that this is not good. I'm not supposed to change internally. I don't want to change into something else. And uh, this spirit of Sorat can create chaos in your life by pushing you to do something illegal or I mean that you will change inside, change into an, another human being and perhaps mm, say something bad to someone, hurt someone, and people will start to wonder what's going on. So avoid working with Sorat until you can see the changes in you and stop this magic in due time. And these talismans also are a little bit tricky. You should have your natal chart with you and consult an astrologer because we if the sun is in a not so good position in your natal chart you could be allergic to this talisman and start to behave in bad ways in ugly ways <sighs> this is what i have experienced and what i have which research i have done when I was um, studying this in one Renaissance astrology website on that website I saw this information about natal charts that we could actually be allergic to some talismans and the these talismans are not suited for everyone you have to pick your talisman maybe the talisman of Mars is for you or maybe the talisman of mercury is for you and so i have not worked with this one yet uh, this is the planetary talisman of Mars, but i have been warned by very very experienced people that i should avoid working with bart sabel uh, they told me do not summon him yet until you can control such forces because these it is said that these spirits are alien Barzabel and uh, Graphiel the intelligence of Marsh and this is the demon of Marsh and uh, they told me that you could turn into a violent person because these spirits kind of infuse you with courage if you are lucky but they may turn you into a violent person a person who is angry like a bull uh, and uh, starts 
fist fights and so on so they told me to wait so I will wait newcomers should not try to work with, with Bart Zabel and with Sorat so this was it about the spirits in the Goyesia in the Grimorium Viarum and these two planetary talismans the planetary talisman of Sun and the planetary talisman of Mars